The first map was made in 1968, the year after I found it, with a, a project team from the University of Cambridge. Um, they made a wonderful publication in 1969, which is in Frontier. Anyone can come and look at it afterwards. And then everybody forgot about it. I went back in 2007 and found that, to my surprise, the ruins looking in quite good condition. They were still there. Um, they were looking a bit battered, and all the tombs had been broken open. Um, and the most overriding problem was that you could see that the um, development of tarmac roads, hotels, car parks, and so on, meant that modern civilization, so-called, had encroached on this very close to the site. Mm -hmm. So we went back in 2008 uh, with John Henderson, who's on the left there, and me waving my arms about in a dramatic way, and we're planning the uh, reconnaissance. Uh, we got permission in 2009 for a five-year uh, project led by John Henderson. Now, the walls underwater, as I mentioned, uh, are not square blocks uh, laid neatly, and we have to try and interpret the town from the foundations. Here you can see a very thick wall. It's about... Um, five or six feet thick, with two faces of, of stone. Uh, the marks on the pole, forgive me, are in centimetres, 25 centimetres. Um, but you can see massive blocks like that, uh, with an infill of smaller stones and rubble and clay, you could support a building of two or even three storeys, with the upper storeys being in timber and, and wattle. The earliest stage of building, even older, um, perhaps in the Neolithic, more than 5,000 years old, would have been like this. Um, and this is a wall from near uh, Pavla Petri at a place called Plitra, which has never been mapped. If anybody wants a PhD, have a go for it. <laughs> this is uh, Pavla Petri itself. And you can see that the uh, rectangular nature of the rooms is quite clear. In 1968, when they did the survey there, they, the Cambridge team, they identified 15 separate houses with between six and ten rooms per house. So it's quite an urban, and that was just part of the town. It's about 24 acres of ruins underwater. <laughs>